Well, it sounds like the Williams and Sonoma store is going to be busy. I just told the lady I'd be there in about a half hour. She said, okay, I got a bag of knives there for you. I think it's a set of globals. She said, there's another lady coming in with a whole set of some kind of knives. I got a guy that's supposed to meet me there with two big kitchen uh, chef's knives. Well, we'll be uh, kind of busy this morning in the knife business, I guess. And then we got King's Grant Farmer's Market from 4 to 7. I leave here at 2 and go out there and set up for 4. One Thursday a month it works out like that. All right. The traffic is terrible. I'm taking an alternate route to the downtown area. My Gotham Mall is in the downtown center of Norfolk. And it's, uh, it's not hard to get to if you can get things lined up right. But the expressway was backed up bad, so I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, let's see what happens today. We've got our first customer right there in that bag. Let's take a look. See what we got. Mm. We got them wrapped up on tight towels. Right, stand by a minute. Great balls of fire. It's a whole set of shoons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They look to be in good shape. Okay, we got to get to work. The crack of dawn almost. I don't know what to say, Jay, ladies and gentlemen. The second customer just walked up with a whole block of Wustos. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and a pair of scissors. No, nine and a pair of scissors. And then two minutes ago, another customer walked up with a block of heckles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine more in a pair of scissors. And it's 11, 12. And I haven't started on these shoons yet. I gotta go to work. I see. Well, we got action. We got a whooshed off, like a fillet knife, maybe. And case. It's like a fishing knife too, but it's really stiff, like a boner. And this is a case, like a saw blade knife. It's kind of straight and it's got saw blades on it. I never seen one 50/50 like that all the way down. Bird's beak. And look at this long whooshed off slicer. Ed whooshed off. That's a skinny baby there, isn't it? And a Santuco whooshed off. But, I just got this. Paper cutter blade. It's uh, relatively sharp. It's got a few little places on where it catches. I'm going to run it on this 3M belt. This non-woven belt. See if that'll sharpen it up or not. Stand by. Well, customer number two has got a Harris Teeter cleaver, and these say China on them, so I guess they might be Harris Teeters too. Might be a whole set of Harris Teeters. But my third customer is not no Harris Teeter, it's a Wustoffs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Wustoffs. That's right, eight, half of 16. I got to go to work on these tickets now. Okie dokie. Look at these tickets. Guy says he can't get them sharp. They're duller and they want him cut paper hardly. But he's right about them being dull. 
Well, it's 6-11, and uh, I'm guessing my last customer just walked up. She's got one, two, three, four, five nice big globals and two Ustos, serrated bread knife and a Santuco. Globals are in good shape, no microchips when I'm serrated. I got to go to work, gentlemen. I'll see you, ladies. Hey, Cephalons, except for one Wolfstall. Well, the market's breaking down. I never had a chance to do any filming other than a few knives you had. I had a record-breaking knife day here, 41 knives here today. That's a lot of knives, and carrying three home. 40, 44 total for the day, or I'll finish them up tomorrow. Whew. Where's my recliner when I need it? I'm home with my Indians. Big old Jack. Runes, tomatoes, what's in that wrapper there? Bread, bread and some nice corn. 